no structural damage, nobody got hurt, and that's what counts. Days after a powerful storm ripped through northeast Wisconsin, some communities tonight are still cleaning up. But finally, for thousands, the lights are back on. Good evening, everyone. Utility crews have been working throughout this long weekend. They've been restoring power to thousands who've been in the dark since Friday. And it appears the efforts are paying off. The blaring buzz of chainsaws could be heard all weekend long in many Appleton neighborhoods. Boardwalks are now lined with lumber, ready to be hauled away. The storms that ripped through Friday morning and split huge willow trees like this one left thousands in the dark. It's not the Labor Day weekend many were expecting. It's been an adjustment. It's like camping without the ants. But uh, <laughs> the first couple of nights it was so hot and humid, and no fans. And last night we figured could have turned the furnace on if we would have been working. Up the street, a neighbor is busy collecting random branches, leaves, and twigs together. But she knows she is fortunate. The storm only took her power out for about a half a day. I feel like we're really, really lucky. I mean, even that in terms of damage and stuff, I had quite a few limbs come off my tree, but um, they were, you know, easily drugged to the street. So mm. I feel like I'm really, really lucky. We Energy says more than 40,000 customers lost power at some point because of the storm. And throughout the weekend, crews have been working to repair the lines and restore power. Crews have been working double shifts. They've been rotating on and off. We've had crews come up to this area from southeast Wisconsin to assist. Officials with the electric company say it's rare to see this much damage all at once. Customers say they hope they don't see it again. And just a moment ago, checking on the website with We Energies, the power has been restored to virtually all of the company's customers. In fact, less than five are without power right now. Now, the same is true for Wisconsin Public Service. They're